Good morning. So I have a super overly ambitious lineup planned for today. I'm not sure how many stops I'm going to get to, but it's been a while since I drove around all day shopping. Been kind of lazy, although I wouldn't call myself lazy. That's, I don't know what the right term is, but either way, I'm starting my day today at Bedford Street Antiques. I was getting a little too comfortable on the floor there, so decided to move on. Zebra bookends, those are cool. 15, not a bad price. Not a big fan of the all black like that though. And yes, I see the left in bunny, but not crazy about those, honestly. If it was around Easter, I'd pick it up just because they would probably go quick. Really like this bird pottery. It looks, these are usually really chipped up when I see it. It's got a couple piece, uh, broken beds and a little angel, so cute. Oh, Germany, love that. Whoa, these are neat. Unfortunately, it's got a little damage. It's glued there and it looks like it's gonna fall apart. So I'm not gonna pick those out though. I've oh, never seen bookends like that though. I usually just see the furniture. I have to check out these shirts. Oh, cool. Anderson. Thought it said poison control at first. I don't know where I was coming from with that. Okay, but this is neat. Never seen a cockatoo like that before. And the paint's in really good condition. I feel like normally it's pretty worn. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. Even though it's eight bucks, I feel like I can still get some stuff out of that. Ooh, this is a good one. 45, they definitely know it too. Not surprised, this booth is usually pretty on the money. <laughs> Look at this funny thing, $6. I kinda wanna pick that up, even though it's just a figurine. I left the planter back there. I might go back for it. It's pretty great, I'm gonna get it. Oh, there's that teal color, everybody loves that. Five dollars, wait, look at these. Ah, those are so cool. How are they only two dollars? Definitely gonna get these. It's really loud up here, hold on. All right, now I am gonna go ahead and pick these up. Uh, they're kind of different, but everybody loves that teal color. It sells pretty quick. So for five bucks, they're going in the basket. There's another set hiding back here. Oh, it's really in there. How cool. Love the colors and the font on that. Five bucks. I feel like I could clean that up a little bit. Super neat. How busted is it? It's still a cool look. Hmm. It doesn't seem usable actually. Yeah, no, it's busted. Dang. Oh, it's Little Bo Peep. How cute. She's uh, missing parts there, but she's only seven bucks. Oh, she's so adorable. Mm. I feel like I could still make a couple dollars off of her. I've never seen that exact one either. I don't want to scratch that. Oh man, got double basket situation. What is this guy? That's a big one. Really neat. $12, I don't really, I don't know. I'm gonna pass on him today. It's, this is bothering me a little too much. But look at this little bunny with the flower ears. Oh, stop, he is too cute. He's definitely been loved, but I'm gonna save him anyway. Here's another one of those little mouse figurines. It's cute, this one's $9. Was the other one five? Let me double check. Yeah, the one I picked up, I, I actually like even better and it was only five bucks, so I'm gonna stick with that. Oh my gosh, but wait, there is more. Okay, but also this. 
I'm obsessed with this. I never fix my items, but I might just put a little black Sharpie on his nose because he's incredible. Oh, wow. I really like this. It's heavy, too, um, than I expected. All right, I need to get up in here. I already see this. Has he got his flower? Oh, my gosh. Little paint loss on the eye, but for $4, I am not going to complain too much. So, technically, I was trying to see if the bottom is there. I'm a little too short, but it's supposed to be a box, and this is the, the top. But even as a figurine, it's still incredibly adorable. And I kind of like his uh, bad eye. All right, so let's see what else we got up here. This is adorable. $4. Take that. Oh, man, I need, like, a third basket. I already see something up here. Let me calm down because I feel like my camera energy is all over the place right now. All right, so this is what I was going for. Whoop. Oh, wow, that is epic. $5, I love the little bug. It's got some wear, but I am not mad at it. All right, and then I'm trying to see this planter. That is pretty cute. Five bucks. Another steel. I'm going to take that. Now, I wish there was like an easier way to maneuver this space. No wonder all this stuff's here. No one can get in here. Oh my gosh. Look at this one. <laughs> oh man. He is spectacular. Oh, I really like this. I might have a hard time separating with this one. All right, let's see. Oh, this is what else? Is this a planter or a figurine? It's just a figurine. It's German though, which is unusual. Hmm. Should I just like get everything and go against everything I've been going on about? The little 4th of July dog is a definite must. I've never seen this one. That is too cute. I think it's uh, made by Norcrest, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna take it, but I also wanna see what this pink poodle is. Left in sugar poodle, $6. I'm gonna get that too. It's in really good condition. This one's pretty neat. Uh, I'm not sure about it though. I mean, it, it, it would sell, but this is what I'm trying to read. Good grief, it's packed in here. This ashtray, 10 bucks. Eh, it's a good price, but it's not my favorite. So I could probably use three baskets at this point. Uh, I'm a little nervous trekking all this stuff down the stairs. I might give them a ring. I kind of feel like they're supposed to help me. <laughs> What is this? Um, what an epic photograph, and I love that frame. Good grief, this is only two bucks? I'm definitely getting this. That is very cool, and it's in amazing condition. Is this thing following me? Strange. What are these chalkware horses? Kind of like this color. $4. Might as well get that. What about this one? Mm, not a big fan. I just like this one because it's teal. Whoa, look at this tobacco jar. I've never seen this exact one. These are usually extremely uh, pricey. I might look this one up. Yeah, just as I had suspected, um, the price is definitely right. I'm not sure how well it would sell though. There's other versions of this that I've seen that I like a lot more, which is where my hesitancy is. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it. I've already got almost three baskets full of stuff. So I've already kind of gotten carried away, but this booth has 50% off, so I am gonna take a look around. So 12, I got a 
all the salt and pepper shakers down here. These are different. Wait. 50% off everything. So. But they have no vendor code on them. This is making me a little nervous. Kind of cool. Pick them up. These one have the deer on it. So six. Hmm. What about these guys? That's a little pricey, I think. Are they bake light though? Hmm, interesting. The St. Patrick's Day planter Fine Japan at $10 that's a decent price as well all right moving on eight bucks not the biggest fan of that brown oh little leprechaun sitting up here five bucks he's pretty cute for five dollars I'm gonna pick him up Leprechauns are pretty hard to find, and St. Patrick's Day stuff in general, even though I left that Fine Age Japan uh, hat planter back there, I've had it a couple times. I'm currently trying to maneuver down the stairs with all this stuff. I saw this little hobbyist figurine. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick that up for $4. Super fair. It's definitely newer, but it's in really good condition, and I like the expressions. Normally, I don't see uh, ones with this metallic finish either. It's kind of fun. All right, I'm back downstairs. I'm about to cry uncle. I said I was gonna watch my spending and have a whole rack of stuff. This is really neat. Uh, it's $35 and 20% off for the whole set. I feel like that's a super fair price, but I'm not sure how well all of it would sell. I'm getting really over putting these baskets down every two seconds. But this, oh my gosh, I am in love. That is too cute. For $3, it's going in the basket, if there's any room. So once again, I've kind of managed to go overboard here. Uh, I'm gonna take a break and check out, and then I guess I'm just gonna keep going. So I ended up spending $162 in there, which is definitely more than I had intended on spending, but I'm gonna keep going because I could have kept shopping in there, but honestly, the whole thing was I wanted to go somewhere different today, and I've been to Bedford Street pretty, pretty frequently recently, so I think I'm gonna go to Hummelstown next.